London cab, the Middle East, and a woman behind the wheel. The first time I took the taxi, first time I scared. I scared because I drive in the car and I scared. If I get customers and I don't know the way he want to take, I scare, but I say, I will do it. I will do it and I will take him. I will see I'm the best lady to drive the car and I take him. During those first journeys, it wasn't only the passengers Latifa worried about. Male taxi drivers in Bahrain thought this wasn't a job for a woman. 100% they don't want the lady driver to be taxi driver. They don't want. But we talk with them, all right? And I tell them, if the lady, she needs to work everywhere she can work. She can work in the shop, she can work everywhere. Because we can't do it. Right. Give us a chance to do it. Are they giving you a chance now? They give us very, very good chance. Seven months on, Latifa's driving like she's been a cabbie for years. This is, we have this one uh, university. This is university for Bahrain. Like the Kingdom of Bahrain itself, the way Latifa's going about her business shows a combination of modern life and traditional values. Do you always drive in the abaya and uh, uh, with the scarf? Yeah, yeah, all the, all the time we wear an abaya and the scarf because, because uh, I, first time we are Muslim, second time we are, uh, when we wear abaya, this one, they respect you. Latifa was in her mid-40s and semi-retired when she decided to drive a cab. I thought, oh, this is a good idea. Today, she can't imagine doing anything else as she motors through her world at work. I love it. Really, I love it to drive the taxi. I love the people. I love the people. I don't know. I love the people. I love my country. I love to be my country to come up, 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 up.